Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. It is time finally to dye my hair and trim my hair. I was going to trim just my bangs, but I don't know. We'll see how I feel after we do the hair dye. I am using my Revlon Color Silk, my brand of choice. It's the cheapest, and I don't care what you say. It's perfectly good. And I'm going with brown black, which I have done before, but not for a little while, so we're going with that. I prefer my hair dark. I don't care, really. I just do whatever I feel like doing. First, this is not a tutorial. I don't want you to think that I'm taking myself seriously here or that I am giving you lessons in hair dyeing and cutting hair. I don't even know what I'll be using for scissors for the hair. Probably just whatever's available. I don't use hair shears because I don't care. I just have fun with it. So let's just get started. I'm going to... um. Start with the dyeing. I didn't uh, take a shower yet, which is why I hesitate to do these videos because I don't feel like doing anything until after I've showered and undressed. But I figure if I'm going to dye my hair, why shower? I just want to dye my hair. Then I'll shower. Then when it's wet, I will cut it because yes, I cut my hair wet. We got the handy dandy gloves. I do not read instructions because I have done this a gazillion times. And if you are new to my channel, Skylar has done this also on my head, not on hers. But I can guarantee you the girl's going to want to dye her hair because she's just been doing it for me for so long. The first time Skylar dyed my hair, she was only six. I'll have a playlist link down below of all the hair antics that I have been through alone and with Skylar. She has given me two different haircuts, you know, full head haircuts. The last one was my favorite by far, and that was at the end of April, and we are now mid-August, so it has grown out a lot. I wish she was here to do the back of my head. I'd let her do it again, but I don't know. It was probably a fluke because she's just a kid. She doesn't know what she's doing. She just gets lucky. <laughs> All right, I'm putting the dye into the developer. Likey so. Then I shake this shit. Looking for scissors. I'll be back. Cut the tip off. And it flies. And someday I'll find it. And leave it on the floor. <laughs> and you just start pouring this stuff into your hair. Very easy. Easiest thing you can do. Except I could take my glasses off now. Whoa. I'm in my house shirt, one of my favorite house shirts, because it has gigantic holes in it. I don't know why, it just does. And not even like a ripped seam, just like big holes in it. There's like one part kind of in the front that I can just like stick my hand through. Probably got stuck on something in the washing machine, I don't know. Ah, I'm already tired of squeezing this sucker. It sounded like flipper. <laughs> Remember that show? It does, flipper's here. <laughs> it always feels good to dye your hair. It makes my hair feel so, like, extra clean and thick and luxurious. And I've had a couple of down days yesterday and so far today. So I thought dyeing my hair would probably pick me up a little bit. So that's it. We just rub that in, get it all over the place. If you have very long hair or thick hair, you obviously would want to get two boxes of dye. Oh, did I even tell you the price? My color silk is under $3 at Walmart. So even if you had to buy two, we're talking six bucks. And that's it. It doesn't look like it's going to get dark. I'm sure it will show on my face there soon. Now I'm just going to go sit for, I think it usually says like 25 to 40 minutes or whatever. I like to leave it at least like 45 minutes. I just go work, and then when I remember, I come back and I rinse it out. So I'll be back in a bit. There's the staining I expected. I got some work done, and so it has been more than 45 minutes. What I'm doing next, and this will wash off. We always hope. Oh my goodness, my arms too are dirty. How did that happen? Oh, I guess from the gloves. I don't know. I'm going in the 
the shower and I'm going to just wet this and rub it in a little bit and rinse it. No shampoo. I will, however, put this lovely conditioner in my hair, just this little packet, and that's it. And then we will do some trimming. So here's the deal. Some staining. I have a little bit of makeup on. That'll all just disappear. Let's see what we have. For sure it's darker. And I do see, like I said, some staining here and there. Won't show when I have my hair down. And yes, I know, I could have put like Vaseline, petroleum jelly on my face so it wouldn't stick. I could have wiped it off before I sat in front of my computer and just let it stain my face. That's not fun. The bangs need to be trimmed. Wow, they're really long. I don't want them like super short. We're just going to trim them. Where do I begin? Trash bucket. And yes, I cut above my fingers so the hair doesn't fall and mingle with all the other junk on my sink and floor. <laughs> Remember, it's not a tutorial. It's not. It's not. I can do... Let's just... I don't know. Let's just trim. And I'm using these Dollar Tree scissors. They worked. Just going to take little bits off. Like that. Can you even see? I never pay attention. That was called the chop at it method. <laughs> I like my hair messy. I like it uneven. <laughs> That's what I tell myself. Let's do this little part right there. I do like my bangs a little longer on the outside of my eyes. Okay, as for the rest of my head, I think I do want to trim a little bit. Okay, I think I need my glasses on. Oh! Let's just take a little bit off here, my dog ears, as I lovingly call them. Camera's in my way. Kind of looked like that was the same amount on both sides. And then I'm going to just, I think, layer a little bit of the bottom. Like I said, it was nice when I had Skylar and I could lift all my hair and just let her chop away at it. But we'll just... Um, We'll just layer a little bit. Just a little bit. I don't know what I'm doing. Like that, I guess. Ugh. In the back, I guess I can just... Geez, I didn't even show us the back before. Again, you'll see how short Skyla cut my hair if you go watch the, um, the one where she cut my hair in Memphis a couple videos ago in the hair playlist she really did a fantastic job for not knowing what she's doing <sighs> like I said all I want is like a little trim like that I don't really want any much shorter okay I wonder if that's a little tiny bit longer right well, one dog ear is hanging lower I feel a thick part. I'll try trimming that down again. Easy! Unless you care what it looks like. I don't care. Whoops! Mirror, mirror. It is hot in this bathroom. Yeah, there's just a lot of thickness back there, which is why I liked when Skyla just like chopped all that hair off. Maybe I can have her do it when I go in October. I'm trying to go see them in October. Okay, let's look at the bangs again. They might be a little too long still. I 
I do like them sheepish looking. Let's dry this and see what we have. It's a mound! What do we have? I like it! I always say that because I always do like it. It looks uh, a little bit trimmed, a little bit shorter, but yet like not so short that it looks obviously cut. Maybe a little bit more layered in here. Nah, I don't know. I feel like I have hair in my eyes. You know what? I think I'm done. It's sheepish and shaggy, like I like it. And the bangs, you know, they're still long, but, you know, I didn't even feel like doing this today, so I'm not going to push my luck. I'm just happy that it's darker and that it's still long and shaggy. Do love it. I guess that's it for now. I, uh, I do still see some staining. For the most part, I'm satisfied. And, yeah, still long. Still long. I could have taken it off a little bit more, but we're going with it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will be back with more soon. Bye!